This is the first picture of Sam Banker in the free since he's been locked up in Brooklyn. There's a lot more to this story, and let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Sam Bankman Freed's incarceration at a Brooklyn detention center and the picture you saw from the very beginning. Now, there's a story behind that picture, and there's an interview with the man who is right beside him in the picture. And before I start, I want to give all the credit to Tiffany Fong. Follow Tiffany Fong on all social media platforms. I'm going to link to her page in the description. She got this exclusively, so you guys, please give her the credit. This is not my work. Now, first things first, let's talk about Sam Bankman Free in case you have forgotten. Now, that's him during the FTX days, before he got locked up, before he is facing this big penitentiary time. They're talking about if he's convicted, he's in jail right now, not prison yet. If he's convicted, he faces 115 years in the penitentiary making bit rocks to little rocks. Now, that's him during the FTX days. We all know the story. He wound up basically stealing a bunch of money. What was it? Like to the tune of a billion dollars? It was a lot of money. It was basically a Ponzi scheme similar to his doppelganger, Bernie Madoff. If you see a picture of Sam Bankman Free and Bernie Madoff when they were right around the same age, they're identical twins. But that's a different story, and I digress. Sam Bankman Free also gave a lot of money to politicians. 95% of whom were Democrats, funded quite a few campaigns. Will that money get returned? I doubt it. But anyway, so he is in jail right now after basically selling billions of dollars or millions of dollars at least. And the very first picture came out. Can we skip? There we go. This is a picture. The other inmates' faces are blanked out. And then you have my man right here. We're going to hear from him in a little bit. And you see Sam Bankman. Now, Sam Bankman looks a lot skinnier than he did in the picture I showed you in the very beginning. Uh, looks kind of out of place, like he's not really, you know, obviously you, you're dealing with guys in Brooklyn, New York, gang members, just regular people. He didn't really belong in that situation. And you could tell he's kind of scruffy, beard's growing out. And that's just what it was. And from what I heard in this interview, I think that they were taking pictures and he was like, hey, I'm not in the picture. And he got in the picture. And he just wanted to be there. So that's what that is. All right. Now, we got to get to this interview from the young man right here who goes by the name of G-Lock. Now, of course, this is going to be New York, Brooklyn type accents. It's going to be kind of hard to understand. I'll translate for you guys. And again, shout out to Tiffany Fong. You can see all of her social medias right there. If you need to freeze frame that, you can do it or... I'll just link in the box. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. What's up, guys? It's me, Tiff. And okay, listen, I've made some new friends, some new recent inmate friends, much to my parents' chagrin. But <laughs> I've managed to get my hands on the first and I believe the only photos of Sam Bakeman Freed ever since he was thrown in jail in MDC Brooklyn in August 2023. In case you don't remember, Sam Bakeman Freed obviously already went to trial, but no one can bring electronics into the courtroom. So there were no photos of Sam that came out. And from Hey, Tiffany, fair use, please. I know you might see this. Please, fair use. Don't give me no copyright claim. My understanding, no one's allowed to bring electronics into prison or jail visits, so there may never be any more photos that come out of Sam Bakeman Freed since he's already in jail. So here are the photos, and I've actually interviewed this man standing beside Sam Bakeman Freed. I call him G-Lock, and he's an ex-Blood Gang member, and I'll be posting the interview on my YouTube channel in the next few days. So that will be... I'll, when, when she posts that, I'll update the description of this video to give you the full length interview. What we're going to see right here is a snippet. My YouTube channel is just my name, Tiffany Fong. Also, according to G-Lock, these photos were taken on December 17th, 2023, because apparently inmates are only allowed to take photos on Christmas and Father's Day. So anyway, this photo is somewhat recent. It was taken after Sam Bakeman Freed was convicted on all seven criminal charges. And as you can see, he's hanging out with other inmates and he looks a little bit out of place yeah. and he's obviously lost some weight. And I've heard that he's not showering very much. He's not as clean shaven as he used to be, but he's obviously going through a lot right now listen first and foremost my son sam bankman is clean shaven you know <laughs> was we yeah, was clean shaven now scruffy than a motherfucker like he got a full beard Does he so yeah y'all hear, hear what he's saying he says 
my son, you know, my friend, you know, that's that's a New York lingo. My son, that's they always everybody's son. Uh, Sam Bankman, he was clean shaven, but now he has a full beard. It's connecting. Full, full beard. beard, literally full beard connection. Holy I'm shit! I'm like Sam, like what are you doing, bro? He's like, uh, I'm just gonna try to grow it. I never did it before. <laughs> like really, his his SBF impression is hilarious. You know his impression though, feel me? Sam had a belly when I met him. He had a belly. He was eating good, you know. Mm -hmm. Skinny, like like a toothpick right now. Like, not had a belly when he met him. Now he's skinny as a toothpick. Not getting the shower. He's not doing anything. Like he lost his soul. Like you know. Yeah, he's not showering. Not showering. Yeah, Gene told me he wasn't showering back in the day. No, he he's wasn't. still not showering. Yeah. Do you think it's because he's afraid of the rumors about dropping the soap, or do you think he just? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was wondering about. <laughs> I'll say I, I I don't think so. Like you know, really? that's that those are things that used to happen in the nineties uh -huh. and the early two thousands. I think I think he's right about that. Nowadays, what he might not say right here, but nowadays, what you have from what I hear, I've not been to the penitentiary, I've not been to prison, not been to jail. But what I hear is that now you got guys that are in relationships. You got guys that got boyfriends in there, and it's not so much a forced thing. Now you can't get assaulted, especially in a penitentiary, but in a in a regular jail setting, it's not quite that way. If anything, it'll just be boyfriends in there that are consenting. And stuff like this this era, that's not really going to happen. Doesn't happen, happen like anymore. That. He doesn't no. want to make himself too pretty for the other <laughs> men. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it doesn't that stuff doesn't happen. No, that's the kind of that's happen, good. Man. So no one's beating him up. No, nah, nobody's beating him up. Now I don't know what that is right there in their hand. Is that some kind of like uh, electronic device monitoring for what she has going on? I was going to say it's a vape, but I don't want to put that on her name. I don't know what that is right there in her hand. If you guys know what that is, let me know in the comments. Good. You know, you know, you know, it was just that one incident. I hope that me posting this photo doesn't upset Sam, but g -Lock said that when the picture was being taken, it was around Christmas. And apparently Sam was like, oh, so I'm not in the photo. So he joined the photo. So, I mean, the photo exists. So I'm just saying I'm not. So Sam wanted to get in the picture. They're taking pictures right around Christmas time. He's like, hey, I'm not in the picture. Let me get in the picture. And then he just joined in the picture. Trying to piss Sam off by posting the photo. So again, I will be posting the full interview with G-Lock in the next few days. I'm just a really slow editor and I don't have a team to help me. So I'm doing all of this myself and I don't really know what I'm doing, okay? But I did want to include this little clip with G-Lock that we took after the interview because according to G-Lock, Sam Bakeman Freed is more gangster than Takashi 6 ix 9 mm. Sam didn't snitch on anyone. He didn't snitch on nobody. Sam is a gangster. My mom told you that if he was black, he would be a real nigga, bro. <laughs> yeah. Real shit, bro. Now, I mean, that's that's kind of a good point. Did did he did he tell on anybody? Like in in reality, who was it to tell on? Who who are you going to tell on? I think other minutes. I think the um the Carolyn was it Carolyn Ellison? I think the girlfriend. I think she might have told on him. But who does Sam have to tell on? Nobody because he's the head of the snake. So who are you going to tell on? So Sam has some street cred now because he's not a snitch. Yeah, he's official. You know? Sam Sam. Sam is more gangster than Takashi Six Nine. Uh, He's more gangster than what? Takashi Six Nine. <laughs> Sam Bankman still on all ten toes. Takashi, you ride it. Now Takashi Six Nine, if you guys don't know, is a rapper who got locked up and was facing a lot of time in the penitentiary. But he told on everybody and his so-called crew, told on them all, and then he got released. But of course, he can't say out of trouble. He went to the DR. To um, Dominican Republic, I think, and then he got in trouble there. It's like, now, man, if you escaped the 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 jaws of defeat, you might want to stay out of the. If you were wrestling with an alligator, the alligator bit you, did a death roll, and you survived. Why would you continue to try and play with these gators? At a certain point, you got to learn your lesson. But different story. I digress. That's a good one. G Lock has also started a campaign. Free Sam Bakeman Freed. Free Sam Bakeman, you know? Free <laughs> Sam Bakeman. My mom said that right here. G Lock himself, you know? For real. Free Sam Bakeman. This is Sam Bakeman campaign. Joe Biden, you know what's up. Before you leave, part of my son, you know? Like, for real. Yeah, part of my son, part of my son, Sam Bankman. You know what it is, Joe Biden. Part in Sam Bankman. That's what he's saying. I'm not saying that. I think you should go to the penitentiary forever. You stole all that money. I mean, come on. You can't just do whatever you want to do. Joe, you know what to do? Yeah, you know what to do, Joe. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what to do. Uh, don't forget. <laughs> he's, he's really, he's actually, he's a good guy. Like, he really is.
That's good. You know I mean? He's weird as shit. <laughs> for me, strange. You know what I'm saying? But he's a, he's a good guy. <laughs> G Lock was very lovely to me in the interview, and like I said, I'll be posting it in the next few days. But he tells me some fun stories, like apparently all of the inmates sat together and watched Michael Lewis's 60 Minutes interview, and apparently they made fun of him for dating Caroline Ellison. So hilarious, hilarious. I wonder what they said. I wonder what kind of jokes flew at that particular table. Oh, I'm excited to share that, but please be patient with me because I'm really bad at editing things. My intent with posting this photo is not to piss Sam off or make fun of him. He's obviously going through a very hard time right now, but this photo does exist and um, I got my hands on it. So thank you to my new former inmate friends and I love you all so very much and I'll talk to you all very, very soon. So there we have it again. Shout out to Tiffany Fong. Again, there's the socials right there. I'll put it right on the screen. And of course, I will link to this video in the box. There's going to be a full interview with Mr. G-Lock on her channel. And when she uploads that, I'll update the description of this video. But there you have it. That is what's happening with Sam Bankman Free in the penitentiary, making friends and whatnot, and losing weight, not as, you know, chubby or whatever as he was before. But as I close, I want to say this. Um, the Mr. G-Lock says, free Sam Bankman, free my son Sam Bankman. I don't think so. You stole millions and billions of dollars. Um, contributed to political campaigns with your illicit funds, doing all kind of shady stuff, Ponzi scheme, same as Bernie Madoff. You need to get locked up. It is what it is. We are a country of laws and you got to follow them. You can't just do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your opinion of the picture of Sam Bankman and G-Lock and the other inmates in the Brooklyn jail? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. What's your opinion about the interview? And what's happening with Sam Bankman? Do you think that he should be released? Should he stay behind bars forever? Whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.